in this class students are required to uh, learn about the entire design process starting from ideation to finite element analysis to putting everything together and finally demonstrating their product prototype. Their final project is where they modify an existing tool for populations with specific needs. So my team's project, we decided to make an assistive benchtop vice for individuals with hand and wrist tendinitis. Our main challenge with the project was that the CAD that we were provided of the benchtop vice was not comparable to the physical product that we had in Textbook. So we just had to go back and make some iterations to make it a little bit more snug and compatible with the physical product that we had here. I got a much better understanding of like design as a whole from like start to finish. Flushing out that idea and bringing it to a point where it's like not perfect, but perfected enough where you can move on to fabrication. Creating something like functional that other people will appreciate. It's such a beautiful thing to me. For our project, we wanted to create a device that would have a pretty simple transmission of motion where someone could then use or operate a vice grip or even in future iterations, different products. And all you would have to do is move your foot or do some motion that would then be transmitted and uh, operate whatever product you were looking to operate. The first project we had was all about working within design constraints, but from there we had to do stress analysis and things like that. And so I think it was really cool to see these concepts come to life. It was a great time for students to come back to TechSpark and make their prototypes rather than making designs on PowerPoints, which really means uh, very little. Unless you go through the process of making things by hand, you don't learn much.